Well, welcome if this is the, the beginning you see, okay, uh, as a video maybe. What happened is the stream crashed. Well, my PC crashed, it just froze, so I had to restart. So this is the beginning of the second part of today's stream, you know, where we finish, well, we we refine the Chun-Li figurine, which probably isn't, uh, is probably now corrupted. Let's see what happens if we open this. It isn't. Well, that's uh, surprising, but it's nice. Welcome back, James. Hope you enjoyed your uh, your Wednesday. So, wait, did I lose anything? I don't think so, right? That's nice. <laughs> At least it, it saved. Um, the only thing that I lost was um, the folds down here. Maybe they're too powerful. Maybe I shouldn't add them. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to challenge, challenge the gods and see what happens. The Blender Gods. I stand before you and challenge you. <laughs> what do you do? What happened to her neck? Well, she lost her head. She was thinking too much. That's why she doesn't have a head anymore. I hit it so I can uh, do the uh, kind of refine it a little bit easier around the neck. Okay. I don't know what, where this bumping has always comes from. I guess I just have to smooth it a little bit myself. There you go. I guess just because I apply the brush multiple times, it could also be the geometry. Okay. Let's go in here and kind of refine it a little bit. There you go. I mean, the part of the neck that is bulging out, that's um, here in the front part. That's what it is to connect uh, the, to kind of add the room for, for the tongue. <clears throat> that's what it is. That's what it be and that's what it is. So you posted the uh, <laughs> the the screenshots of uh, of the new Disney movie. I always knew that they wanted to make or that they create realistic hair for their characters, but I never realized that they also add like the small peach fuzz to uh, to their characters. That's pretty interesting. Um, I always only thought that they would kind of look at the um, they would look at sort of you know the hair on their head, but not like on on the back of their neck or whatever <laughs> that's pretty interesting to see and um see how much detail they add pretty cool it's an inter interesting um sort of i wonder why they do that um why they want why they sort of combine realistic hair with um stylized characters because like in itself, they don't really, you know, they don't really, well, they work together, but I wonder what, why the, this, this, you know, what, what the decision is in that, um, for that. What are your thoughts on the cloth brush? Um, niche, niche brush that is useful for, uh, um, some small instances. That's what I think of it. <laughs> So it's good for stuff like, um, for, um, I don't know if you have like a cloth on a table or you have a, um, sofa or some sort of pillow, you want to add some small details there. I think then it's very useful. I haven't really found a good, um, application for it when it comes to clothing. I mean, we could try it here, but I don't know if it will work that well. Where's the last, I always miss one. There it is. One of my references okay yeah let's see what happens i wonder if there's all the time or only in frames where someone might notice the peach frost <laughs> yeah like you you mean where somebody notices it i don't think everybody anybody ever notices that if they're not into 3d you know 
or into characters, creating characters. Welcome back, Zachary. My PC froze. The same that happened, uh, you know, I don't know, a few days ago at the end of the stream. Happened in the middle, which is, uh, you know, pretty annoying, but that's just how it is. So the... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the problem with it is, it, it um, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to work with. So the one thing that I would probably use is dynamic, so because then it use it, it moves the simulation area, but it's too strong right now. Soft mass. What if we set it to two? So one thing of what I want to do is I want to reduce. So the thing is, it, it it is very very fine. See how how the folds are very fine. Maybe we should increase the damping to 0.5. That's better. But then you can see it still looks weird because the folds are still small. It just doesn't deform it as much. So that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more, I don't think it's soft body plasticity. The folds are supposed to be bigger. Yeah, that's not the case too. Soft body is basically, um, it behaves like a balloon if you set it to one. <clears throat> and if it's to zero, it's I guess not a balloon, <laughs> some normal um, fabric. That's the, the, the only annoying part about the cloth brush. It's very hard to make it look like add these bigger folds because it always tends to add these small ones which i don't really need here maybe i can refine it more to get it where to where i need it but uh, i just create my fold i i just like to create the folds myself but to change my view of movies in life permanently <laughs> it blender changed uh my view on uh on people uh surfaces light um the atmosphere everything in life <laughs> then it changed everything if i see a cool surface i try to envision how i would create it with nodes you know as a shader if i see people i like to analyze their face and see what makes them unique um and how you know why um if it's i don't know if it's a uh, if it's a dog, I use or like an animal, I try to sort of see if my theories or my my um, ideas about animal anatomy, for example, is correct, or what why an, a dog looks different than a cat, for example. So you know, it it never ends. <laughs> Can you change the fall off? Yeah, but the fall off only really changes the. Uh, the imprint that it has it doesn't change the amount of fold that it has oh i think i know what it what changes that hold on maybe maybe let's see i think i can change the so let me show you what the fall off does um where's the fall off oh there it is um so this is you know the standard well that's quite low hold on I guess I just do this. There you go. So that's the standard. Nice and round. So if I now switch it to sharp, it looks like this. Actually, it doesn't change too much, but it's it's a little bit a little bit slimmer. You can probably see it better if you change the force fall off. You can also use plain, which does this, which is ultra useless. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What happens if I do this? Yeah, you know, I guess maybe a little bit too big. Yeah, completely useless. Um, what else do we have here? We have deformation pinch point is what I, which basically is where you can do something like this. Doesn't really need, nobody needs that. Inflate, uh, yeah, you know, it inflates stuff. Not really that useful. Um, drag is the one that you usually use. Grab can be useful sometimes, maybe. But, you know, maybe not. Um, so, if we change the spacing, maybe that can help. Maybe to 25. Okay. Or it just doesn't, doesn't work at all. Ah. So the folds get bigger, I think. So what if we set it to 211? 
Okay, nothing changes. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you for wasting my time. <laughs> Hello. There it is. Yeah, I guess the fall off can't be, I mean, the spacing can't be too small. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, it's it's a weird brush. I don't like it, so, you know, uh, I don't use it. I bet some people think that CGI artists are either creeps or looking at them because they have the hots for them. I mean, I, I don't do that, obviously, you know, I'm just kind of looking at, I usually it's images where I, I analyze it, not necessarily real people. And, um, you know, if you have a conversation with someone, um, you can generally look into into somebody's face and it looks like you have eye contact with them. So you can analyze their face as somebody's talking to you, for example. Welcome, Ambado. Hope you enjoyed your... Uh, your hope you had a beautiful Wednesday. <laughs> A tremendous Wednesday, okay. Not just beautiful, but tremendous. Is that even a positive word? I think so. He's just studying form, yeah. No, but really, is really, uh... <laughs> um, he's really agitated today, it seems. But would CG artists be considered creeps? I guess because they, uh, they observe a lot. Maybe. Okay. That looks weird, does it? I guess that works a little bit. I'll leave it. It's not great, but it's uh, it's it's acceptable. Okay, there you go. Take this night bun. <laughs> it's switching sides. <laughs> Hope you had a nice day. My my day was pretty annoying. Let's say okay. One more day that um, shows me that I have less and less fun being a graphic designer. But it's not you know usually just because. You know when I when I work on something, usually it's it, usually it's because I there's a project where I um, it's like confounding problems or confounding um, difficulties, let's say, that sort of all come together sometimes, which kind of make a certain project really annoying. I like it when you have a project and you can just kind of focus on it and you can work on it, but oftentimes that's not the case because especially right now it's like, hey, you know what? You work on something and um so you know let's just go with today i had a project that i should that i was supposed to finish today i finished it but um you know you 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 really get in you really focus on the project and then bling hey i have another project can you can you you know uh, that needs to be done today um okay you know let, let's talk about it what do you need and then you know you put it on your list and then um you go back to your project, bling. Hey, I have a question to a different project. Okay, let me just kind of read up on what, what the project was again and how I can help you there. Okay, going back, then you go back to your, to your work, you know, you kind of try to, uh, you try to get into it again, kind of concentrate and then bling. Hey, I have another, you know, another person. Hey, there's another project that, or there's a new project that we, that we're going to start um, soon or no. There's a project, uh, can you start it today, you know, and he was like, yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, it's just so annoying to always have something popping up that, and you know, I need at least some time to focus on a project to, um, to really work on it, you know. Um, the, the most annoying part is, I think it's because I I um, stayed there after my internship. I did the internship in the in the um, in the uh, what is it? The um, I'm still working where I did my internship, and um, so I don't really have a client that I'm sort of um, that I'm not supporting, but that I'm working for. 
and every every client of course has a different way of designing or it has like a design manual for example so you, you you have to do i don't know the logo has to be this big and the font font is this font and you know it has this um, the font has to be in relation to the logo in that size and all that stuff there are so many like small details that you have to keep in mind for all all the um clients and I, I'm always been, I've always been, um, for some reason, the person that sort of helps out or that helps out um, in projects that other people sort of usually, you know, like, if they need help, then I, I help them, you know, uh, which means I'm never really, I can never really get deep into a client and really get used to their corporate design, for example, like the, their style, their style, let's call it, which means every time I, I help someone, um, I need to get, I need to um kind of i need to spend some time relearning or kind of getting into the design again which takes time then you know time is not really something you have usually <laughs> and that's always you know what kind of um stacks together into making something stressful um or annoying if i have a project that i that i work on for example for a while it's it's fun and it's um i can do it pretty quickly but it's um it's it's these other projects that sort of come um where you kind of help out or you, you don't you're not really used to the, with the client that um and then when they have to be done quick that's that's when it gets uh stressful and annoying <clears throat> that's what what i had today three people came to me and um said hey you know i have something no four things i had to do today all of a sudden and um yeah it's been annoying but you know what now it's over hopefully well I only need to, to work two more days and then I have a, a week off. I also wanted to probably speak with the with one of my bosses at some point, kind of maybe ask if there's, I don't know, a client I can sort of mainly work for. Because <clears throat> I I think I, that's sort of the main, main problem that I have right now that sort of makes work unfun. Just, you know, not being able to focus on a, on something. Because it's like, you see how how... Like I see how the other other people that work on the client sort of can just kind of blaze through the work because they know how, how it's sort of set up. Um, and I always have to, you know, I limp behind because I need to remember again how it's all set up, you know, and it's like, it's super annoying. Hush mode. <laughs> I have started today with my first character to Scotland Bender and I will try to, your Reaper vids on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I think I did almost everything except for some armor details. I think everything except for that is um, documented or streamed, I guess. I applied for an Ubisoft internship the other day. Gonna be a few months till I hear back. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. I played as a 3D artist at a German game development studio called King Art Games. Never heard of it. Okay, nice. I wanted to do game design when I was in high school. That's the uh, that's why I actually wanted wanted to do um, after my after high school, um, but I decided to start off with something more um, universal. So I started with graphic design, and then I wanted to switch to you know, to game design, but I don't think I want to do that anymore. That dream is gone. <laughs> Okay, it's not perfect, but it's okay, and that's all I'm looking for. Okay, we're not we're not here to make it. Well, I'm not here to make it perfect. Maybe you are. I am not. Okay. Okay. There you go. I think that's okay um, for the for the 
for the for the tub. I think it looks pretty good. One thing I want to do real quick, I probably want to add another level of resolution. So let's do that now. I guess we can go with no. No, I don't want to do that actually. I just want to go in here with the pinch brush and make this small little seam here a little bit more seeming less. Okay, there you go. Bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, I think it's okay. Um, it's good enough for a 3D print and to render it. That might not be perfect, but it's okay. And that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Let's go to uh, to the shoulder pads now. Fortunately, they have given me a rejection. Yeah, you know, you can always be lucky, I guess. If it's coding, modeling, animation, graphic design, it's just time to get paid for these for these these skills. Yeah, Kali can be difficult to get hired as a CG artist. Some, yeah. I mean, I think when it comes to creative work or for um, when it comes to creative um, jobs. Um, as long as I don't think the, they necessarily look for. I think going to uni for these topics can be good because there are probably recruiters that look out for people that they might hire. But I think if you um, if you develop your skills, you can also do it as like a, you can also get hired as a you know self-taught artist. You just need to be good enough, you know. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter if you, if you, if you, well, I, I, I think, you know, it doesn't really matter if, um, if you've been to school and learned it there, or if you've been to, um, you know, if you've done an art class or if you've done, <clears throat> I don't know, um, if you've done it, you know, in your basement, <laughs> as long as you know how it works, you know, it, uh, uh, as long as you can do it, you know, who cares? I could be wrong, but I think that's what I heard from some people. I want to push this a little bit over here. Too far over there. That's better. Okay. Today I got my first order for a 3D model. Oh, nice. Just hard to get to even get your portfolio looked at. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, you know, I guess the best way to go is, you know, to, to send it to them. <clears throat> if they say, hey, you know, you maybe not, you know, you don't, you know, um, you don't pass the quality that we want. Maybe you can ask them for, I don't know, some sort of feedback or you just walk on it some more and then you can send it to them again. I don't know, like a half a year later or maybe even a year to show them that you're dedicated and that you want to work for them. <clears throat> that can be good sometimes. Kind of trying to copy what I see in the original right now. There you go. Okay. Um. Seeing people come with masters with the worst CGI skit than me two years ago. There's a guy on YouTube that makes bank coding. Says the hardest class in college ever was CAD course.
Okay, there you go. It's starting to look better, okay. It's getting there. Had an old buddy in Utah that was working on his PhD in computer science. Okay. You barely started to use Unity like six years into school. Well, do you need co do you really need Unity in computer science? <laughs> Isn't it more about uh, programming than uh, I don't know games or whatever? Do you really need to know Unity to be a you know computer programmer? Maybe I don't know. Okay. They use C++. Isn't C++... Wait. I actually don't remember what C++ is for. Isn't it more for... Um, I guess... I think it's also used for games. I think I used it once when I tried to create a modded Minecraft server. <laughs> but... Um, other than that... Yeah, I don't know exactly what you use it for. Okay, let's create the ending here, the seam line. It's not, we don't really have that much geometry here, but I think it's enough to at least create the border here. Oh, oh okay. You wanted to have a computer science degree to make games? Okay, <laughs> interesting, interesting choice. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but I never really, um, I never really connected computer science with uh, games. Maybe that's where I'm wrong. Okay, one more. Six subdivisions. Oh my. Still looks kind of blocky, but that's okay. Can rewrite the display UI, create functional add-ons. Yeah, I guess that it depends on what you want to do in games. You know, there are people that uh, that create a an engine, and those people probably don't need to know a lot about. Uh, I don't know. Most of I guess it's good to know the uh, Unity and all that, so that you can you can sort of take inspiration. But you know, it's um. I don't know. You don't necessarily need to, or you, at least, you know, you can understand them easy, I guess. Okay. I don't know if it's too bumpy. I want to make it a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother and rounder, please. There you go. I think that's okay. That's good enough, I would say. Let's go to the other side. Flat, of course, otherwise it's going to be bad. Welcome back, Emily. How am I doing? I'm doing quite well right now. Okay. Thank you for asking. Hope you had a great Thursday, too. Hope everything's been going 
how you wanted it to go. Maybe even better. <laughs> Good. Let's add detail. Details. Okay. Rambling about random stuff, as always. <laughs> Too concentrated to talk about anything trying to really get these shapes right folds can be quite annoying sometimes so I don't want to do them twice okay it's really going to be interesting to see what it looks like uh when I print it. I am also, I don't really know how big I want to make it. I still need to figure out how I want to print it because I probably want to make it so big that it needs to be two pieces. So I could probably, I could probably sort of separate it in the middle here in the waist region. I just need to figure out how to do that. I have an idea. I think you can use like Boolean to create like two, you to create pieces that you can then put together again. I just need to, um, I don't know, either create those pieces, figure out how to create them, or just grab them from somewhere. I don't necessarily know if I can create them myself. Sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> Okay. Um, I mean, you know what? I think that's okay. It is acceptable, and that's all I'm looking for. Okay. Let's add another layer, and then we can go into the next part. Doing grade two. Nice. That's all I needed <laughs> to know <laughs> to feel better. Okay, I think I, after this I want to go to the waistband, because the waistband, I haven't really done too much there, and it definitely needs a little bit more work, so why do we do that? It's not too complex, so you know, just a few folds here and there, and then it should be good. Okay. There it is. So here we have the uh, the other shoulder pad. I want to make sure that they end very evenly here because I need to add the uh, the next piece to it. Um, and it can't really, yeah, it kind of it's kind of bound together into one onto sort of one one string and the string doesn't you know isn't that wavy so i just want to make sure that everything is sort of in line there you go okay let's do that on the other side too oh wait okay c and c 
wait, yeah, Python. I know that it, that there's a lot of Python code on um, in Blender. I didn't know that there's C++ that much. The only thing that I always hear about is Python, but not really the plus to the C. Not the... Well... Okay. There you go. Let's get into the the waistband. So the waistband has a certain um, mm, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a like a in I don't know like oh a dragon on it, small detail like ornament, but I don't think I want to add that to mine. Because that will no will not be seen by anyone. Maybe if I render it and I want to add some shading, but um, still I don't want to add that there. So I guess I won't. And that's how easy you can make decisions. <laughs> if it's ever hard to make decisions in your life, if you can't really decide, just do it. And there you go. Fixed. Fix your problem. I really want to make sure that it looks like this waistband is pushing down or sort of tightening the um, the upper part. So let's do that. Um, I think I want to have more resolution now. What are we working with here? Oh, okay. That's quite low. Wait, is it still? No. Maybe that's too much. Nope, it's not. Okay, perfect. It is not. Whoa, what are you doing? Why is it so far off? There you go, that's better. You choose not to decide that you still made a choice? Exactly. Not doing something is your decision. Could right now travel to I don't know Africa and help out some people there or you just sit here continue sitting here and listen to me talk about random garbage it is your decision that you make and um, yeah you do it consciously okay don't don't make excuses okay you you are the one deciding what your life is, what you do in life. And right now, you're doing a big mistake. <laughs> Okay, so because she's um, very sort of tilted to one side, um, there are a lot of folds right here, so I kind of want to enforce those now. Let's do that. Oh, I know the problem. We need to increase the... Uh, spacing. What about one? That should give us some nice clean lines. That's way better. Before, you can see if I set it to 10, because the tip is so pointy. We set it to 10%, we can still be we can still see the see this? That's what I mean. That's why what I why I got confused why the lines look so sort of weird. So dotted. We just bring it down to spacing one and then there you go, nice and clean.
Wait, let me use... Welcome, Barker. Hope you enjoyed your Wednesday too. Welcome back. Hope you uh, yeah had a great day. Thank you for the well wishes. I think that's only one reason why it looks so blocky, but it's one. So, you know. It's a good one. Okay. Let's change the follow-up. The follow-up doesn't really work. Sharper. How about linear? What does linear look like? No, that's even worse. Let's go with sharp. Is there like a cut on the side too? I don't think so. I don't want to add it on the side, do I? Let's see, can we see it on some of them? No, there's no line. There's not. Okay, perfect. Then I won't add it. Let's proceed with those folds. Make them very strong here where they're very, very tight. Very close together and then make them nice and wide and flat as they spread out again. There you go. They still look so blocky. It's kind of hard to really make them nice and clean. That's the only problem that I have right now. I guess I just have to kind of go over it a little bit and just kind of do it like this. Just kind of see if I can clean them up manually. If that's what it takes. And then I'll do that. You know what the hardest part was for me when I when I did drawings. The hard part the hardest part was clean clean contour lines. Now I'm sitting here trying to make clean fold folds. You could call them lines, I guess. I'm struggling once again. And there's nothing. I don't know how to change it. It's a never ending never ending curse. There you go. It's not too bad, I guess. It's not perfect, but it's uh, it's acceptable. Okay, that's enough. I don't know why I always say that. <laughs> why 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 do I always say it's not bad? But then I always have to I don't know, give some more detail. <laughs> I don't want to make the um, the border a little bit smoother, so I kind of want to probably just go over it with the clay strips brush and just kind of do this, make it nice and round. Although, do I really want to do that? You know what? Nah. It's good the way it is. There you go. Yeah. I think that's okay. I want to go back to this real quick because I need to adjust this part now I need to push it in a little bit to make it look like it's being pushed down by uh, the other thing there you go yeah that looks way better oh it's kind of separating 
Okay. There you go. Okay. So here we have uh, the top. Let's add... Um... I want to refine the neck a little bit more. The um, the color. It's not there yet. I want to go into it just a little bit more. Um, I want to change the shape. Let me see what the head looks like. First of all, I think I want to adjust the the neck. There's something not right about it. Oh, wait, where's the where's the body? <laughs> where's the body? There it is. Let's adjust it. Refine it. I mean. Okay. So now you can see why the neck looked so weird because it's uh yeah it, it, why it pushed so far forward because of this part here. Let's see. So I think this already looks pretty good. Let me maybe adjust this part here. I don't really have a good reference for this sort of uh, neck position, but I'll just go with my instinct, which is not good, but it's just a small, it's such a small thing here, okay, that I can uh, get away with the excuse, okay? Leave me alone. Okay. I think that's okay. Oh, where's the, where's the top? There it is. Okay. I gotta say, it looks pretty good now that most of it is nice uh, and structured. I like it. It's coming together. Okay, there you go. Make sure that it's not clipping. Okay, I want to kind of add the small detail here too. Why not? You know, a little bit of attention to detail that always helps. Okay. There it is. Okay. Why is it going... Oh. Where's my... Where's the... Where's the original body? There it is. Okay. We don't need you anymore. Okay. Let's go to... I think I want to go to the waist. No, not the waistband. The... Uh, what are they what are what are they called again? Um bot curtain. There it is, loin cloth. That's what I meant. What did you think? First I want to clean up the geometry a little bit. Give it more. I don't want to make it so stretchy. Okay, nice and even geometry. Let's get into sculpting. So this can be can stay quite simple. 
I definitely need multi-resolution for this. Okay, but before we do use that, I want to work without it. First of all, I need to make it flat so I can see the geometry. Okay. That looks good, nice and clean. Nice and smooth, perfect. Other side. There you go. So even if you don't necessarily, you know, intend on sculpting, even with poly modeling, sometimes you can use the smooth brush. Uh, you can use sculpting to just kind of refine the geometry, make it nice and even. There you go. And then we can use subdivisions to add more detail. One thing that we don't see, of course, is the solidification. I wonder in which direction it goes. Hold on. Is it going inwards or outwards? It's going outwards, right? Yeah, okay. I guess you could say it goes inwards. Well, that's okay. I think I need more resolution. There you go. Now I can work. Now I can work finally. Okay. Just giving it a little bit more of this plasticity, you know, make it look more like cloth by adding some, some smaller folds here. I think that can help. Okay. Other side too. So this one, it's probably pushing over here a little bit more because the butt is in the way. So we would have maybe a few more over here and then they spread out. Okay, just very, very rough. Well, that's uh, that's all we need and then this one could maybe have something like this just to sort of hmm, i want to kind of crunch it together a little bit but i don't really know how it would move it would probably move up a little bit like this so you would have some folds that sort of crush crunch together here just a little bit. There you go. Okay. First level done. Next level. More detail. Doesn't need that much, it's just like a you know butt towel, but still. A little bit more I think can help. Because right now it looks very blurry. Not really a lot of definition. And you know, just add a little bit more. Adding just a little bit more can probably help with that. That's looking okay. I'm gonna be honest, it's more free selling right now, but it's uh, look, it adds a little bit of you know flair, I guess, which uh, helps better than just these flat 
you know, boards there. Better than that, definitely. What? Oh. Okay. Let me go in here, do this side too. Okay. That should be enough to sort of make it, uh, give it some, a more natural look. Yeah, I mean, you can sort of see that it's not that detailed, but maybe the ornaments can help there, too. Okay, there you go. One last thing that I want to do is I want to add these, um, whatever they're called, these, these, um, these things here. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that, actually. I think I want to just model it. Maybe we could use... Hmm... Ah, uh, maybe we could even just use a cylinder. Where is it? Okay, that's not where I want it. There it is. Put it over here. And then we can adjust it. We don't need that much geometry. So let's try again. How much do we need? We need one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, okay, 12 vertices, okay, and then we would have this one, this one, oh, that doesn't work, nope, okay, and then if we push this down, we get something like this. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay. Subdivisions. Wait. Subdivide. So that we can use these ones here to make it a little bit rounder. Okay, and then we can use a subdivision modifier to make them even rounder. Okay, then we grab this part, invert it. Make it nice and sharp at the end. Okay. It's not perfect, but <laughs> the crown, uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. And then we need a solidify modifier. Perfect. Maybe even one more subdivision just to make it nice and round. That didn't work. Another subdivision modifier, please. Perfect. Array. Yeah. Um, I think that's more fiddly, so I wanted to go with this. 
with this technique. I think the other one is more fiddly if I would do that. Do it with a with a curve. I thought about it, but I think this one's simpler. Okay. And then I probably want to go in here again and just scale this up just a little bit with a thingy enabled, uh, linear. that enough it is perfect it's kind of weird looking <laughs> can i still ah that's the mo that's the annoying part i guess i can go into scope mode and do it just push it forward It look a little bit uh, uneven, but that's okay. Maybe that does make it even better. I, they just look too sharp for me. I wanted to make them a little bit rounder. There you go. Maybe we can push this one back too, just a little bit more. Kind of <laughs> trying to stay in place, <laughs> fighting against it, but it has no choice. There you go. Okay. I think I want to reshape it a little bit too, so that it's more following the arm shape. So these two can be thinner. That's better. Okay. Is that too narrow? Uh, yeah, it can probably be. F it prob it fans out a little bit more on the outside. So let's kind of take that into account too. Any tips for making and texturing seams and sewing on clothing? Um, use the crease brush or the draw sharp brush. You set it to a fall off of sharp. And once you've made the crease, you can use the pinch brush to um, strengthen or to, to, to refine the seam. That's what I've done here. So this one, this one's not that clean. And then I've done the same here. What you can also do, um, so here, if you, you know, draw, if you now, for example, use the, I, I like to use the crease brush. Um, pinch 0.25 is what, what I like to use. And then I like to use the ball of sharp right here. And then I just, oh, of course it needs to have a certain strength. And I need to exceed it. Select this, there you go. Then I can draw it. You can see it has like a weird fall off maybe. What you can then do is you can use the pinch brush, pinch it together a little bit, make it cleaner and tighter. And then you can even use the smooth brush, hold control so that it gets, that it becomes the sharpened brush. And then you can make it even, even stronger like this. You have to be careful though. There you go. And then we have a nice little seam right there. Of course, seams can look different. Um, there are also, also custom brushes that can help you achieve great seams. But um, you can also create at least very simple seams with your own hands. <laughs> that can look quite nice. So 
So this one will be a little bit different. I don't really know how I want to do it. Oh, hello. It needs to sort of um, bend because it's pushing into the arm. And it also needs to change its shape. Where's the wide part of the arm? I guess I'll just reshape it manually. That's better. Okay. Vom today. I don't know if that much detail is really great, really good for 3D printing, but you know, we'll see. That's all part of the experiment. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. It's kind of weird if it's bent like that, but. I mean, you know, better than pinching through. There you go. Perfect. Let's bring back everything. Also link it for the material. What do we need? We need these pads. Perfect. Where are the eyes? What is that? Oh. Boots back up. Nobody needs that. Where are my eyes? I guess they're in the face. Makes sense. They, they are. Okay. There you go. So we have the refined body. We have the... Uh, we have the shoulder pads, which are somewhat refined. They could probably, you know... We, we, we could do more, but I'll leave it there. Um, so the, the last thing that is missing is the hair and then the ornaments and then we have the final version i'm kind of torn between adding separate eyebrows maybe with curves or not uh maybe i'll, I'll think about it we can maybe do that tomorrow but yeah here we have today's result i think it looked pretty cool um i think the what is it called again loincloth you know, maybe we could spend some more time on it, but um, if I want to make it more refined, I will do that off stream. Uh, yeah, so the only thing that is missing is, yeah, the, the, the small details. We're going to do that tomorrow. Um, this will be the end of the stream, as I said before. These, this week will be shorter. Next week, no streams, just to be sure, okay? Nobody forgets that. <laughs> Next week, no streams, but then the week after, we're going to get back to it. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's stream. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And thank you for listening, chatting, or just being here. I'm actually pretty excited for uh, two weeks from now. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh listening chatting uh or just being here hope you enjoy the rest of your day maybe i'll see you next time until then though hope you have a great rest of your day and take care <laughs>